All right, the project is almost done. I've got one more step to do, and that will be to do my final testing. But let me show you what I've got at this particular point. What I have is it completely assembled. I've got my case completely designed and prototyped. I've got my board completely assembled and soldered. I've got everything then, those two major components, all put together. So you can see through these openings, I've got my different connectors. On this side, I have my motor power switch and an indicator LED. On this end, I have my USB connector for programming, my optional motor power connector, and my main board power, which can also be used to power the motors if I choose to do so. And then on this side, I have my reset switch for resetting my Arduino. You'll also notice that the connector openings have these little grooves or ridges in them. That is so that they can accept the fairly standard VEX connector, which isn't all that standard, standard with VEX, as well as the more common servo cable connector. And what I mean by that is the VEX connector has a polarizing fin or tab on the side, and I'm not sure how well you're going to be able to see that, but uh, on this side here, there's a little fin or tab to make sure that those go in the correct way. So mine will accept those. I can go ahead and take and plug that in, and it'll accept then that standard VEX, I want to say standard, but it'll accept that VEX cable connector as well as the standard ones. So what I've got left to do is go ahead and do my full-fledged testing and get this on a robot and try all the different sensors and motors and make sure that it's meeting up to my expectations as far as capability. So please subscribe. I've got that one more video to do, show you the final result of it working. So thank you very much and see you again.